Hey YouTube, so today I just wanted to do a haul video for you guys because I actually went to um, a thrift store after work today. I went to Goodwill. I know that there's a lot of people out there who think, you know, they just get this really bad rep with thrift stores because of, um, you know, some of the thrift stores being that people think that they're just dirty, that they're gross, that you can't find anything good there. Everything is just trashed. It's holy. It's stained. Okay, let me just bust some of those myths for a second. Yes, they are some of them very dirty yes you will find holes you will find stains you will find missing buttons you will find um, you know tears you'll find a lot of that stuff it's people's clothes that they had and gave away to a secondhand store so it's not like you're walking in there and expecting to find something in perfect condition but let me just tell you right now that there are times when you can walk in there and find things in perfect condition um also Another thing to realize is that they are thrift stores, so it's not like you're supposed to expect to get, you know, a $50 shirt kind of quality. Do you guys get what I mean? Like, there are shirts in there that at the time of their sale in retail, they must have been at least 50 and stuff like that. But, you know, now they are secondhand and they're selling for $6.99. So with all that being said, just understand you guys that thrift stores are kind of always going to be a hit and miss. There will be some thrift stores where you're going to find nothing at all. You're going to feel like you wasted your whole day looking for nothing. And there's going to be thrift stores where you're just going to find gold. You're going to be like, yes, I'm so glad I came here, which today I was pretty glad. Let me just tell you. So I'm going to stop blabbing now and just start telling you guys what I got. First, let me just tell you guys, I gave myself a $50 limit and I spent, let me just show you guys what I spent. Can you see it? $41.87. But I didn't know that today was actually um, orange tag was half off. So some of the stuff I actually got half off. So I was really happy with myself. I was like, yeah, you go, Heather. So anyways, I spent $41.87 at Goodwill. And you guys are probably thinking, who the hell spends almost 50 bucks at a freaking thrift store? This girl right here. Okay, okay. And let me just tell you guys why. $41 at a Forever 21 will get you at least two shirts or one shirt and a couple things of jewelry or one shirt and a pair of shoes or you guys get what I mean? You're not going to get a lot of stuff for $41, $50, whatever. $41, I actually got four purses, four belts, and I think five shirts. Well, four shirts and a blazer. Okay, so if you guys add that all together, that's a pretty good amount of stuff right there. All right. 13 items. Okay. So let me just kind of start off with my belts. Okay. This belt was an orange tag. So if you guys can see, this was 99 cents, but actually since today was 50% off for orange tags, this was a 50 cent belt. So I got this really cute taupey colored belt for 50 cents. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a spring fashion video for dressing cute for less or for cheap. And these I'm going to incorporate into there. So this is what I really liked about the belt, however, is this really gorgeous, um, the little buckle. I thought that was so cute. It's just a really pretty buckle, and it's such a gorgeous color. It's seriously like an olive taupey color, and I love it, love it, love it. So, 50 cents for this really cute belt. Then I got, um, a skinny belt, which is just a really pretty cream color. This one was also 99 cents. Um, it's got kind of more of a rusty looking... Um, buckle because it, it's a lot older. As you can tell, it's already kind of breaking right there. And I actually did that today when I tried it on. So I'm pretty sure this will break really easy. But I mean, 99 cents, you can't really complain. Then I got a nice little brown one that was also 99 cents. Um, this one, I just liked it because I love gold buckles, first of all. They kind of make everything look so much cuter in my eyes. And I love the fact that this is such a deep, dark brown. And I just think it's going to look so good with a lot of the stuff that I wear. Alright, and lastly, I got this red one, which was also 99 cents, and I really liked this one only because um, I loved the red color of it, because there was another red one, and it was just really ugly, because it was just too bright, and ugh. But anyways, I figured this could help me incorporate, you know, um, color into some of my outfits, instead of, you know, having to wear really colorful clothes, I could just take a nice, you know, plain, maybe one-toned outfit and throw on a colored belt for spring, and it would look super cute. So, 99 cents. Now I want to show you guys some of the purses that I actually picked up. I got this one right here, which is so 
cute and I think I'm actually going to use it as a clutch instead because I really don't like how short this little chain is. It really looks like a little necklace chain. I mean I could probably connect more links on it and make it and make it longer because I actually like them better when they're kind of the over the shoulder, you know, over the body side purses, side bags, you know. But this one was only, let me rip this out of here, uh, $2.99. So, $3 for this super cute purse, and it is, you know, it's spacious enough to keep, you know, just your small items that you would need with you, your chapstick, your cell phone, your wallet, that kind of stuff, you know, when you really don't need a lot of stuff in a, in a purse or in a wallet or in a clutch, whatever. So, this is super adorable. Then I got this one here, which I told you guys I love those side, you know, side purses that go over the shoulders and down the sides and this one is a white creamish kind of color this one was $3.99 $4 it comes with a little mirror and the inside is a really nice kind of like green color it's really cute and it's just so simple and that's what I liked most about it and it's actually like a double purse so there's like this side and this side so that's really cute that one was $3.99, so $4 for this cute little purse. Then I got this one. This one was $1.99. Okay, and it's so cute. It's just a cute little clutch. It's a black one, and it's gold and black, and up here it has, like, little pearls on it. And it comes with a really small little chain once again. So, like I said, you guys don't have to keep these on here. I usually don't. I don't like it when it's like that short. I don't know. Some people like it like that, but I don't. So all I would do would be throw my chain in there, and we are good to go with a cute little clutch. So that's super cute. $2, you guys. Seriously. I think thrift stores are some of the best places to find um, purses. Seriously. And sometimes jewelry. Sometimes. Another one that I got was $2.99, and it's this really pretty baby pink clutch. Um, what's crazy about it is I'm not a pink person, you guys all know that, but I thought that this would be so perfect for spring because, well, you with me? Are you with me? Okay. I thought this would be so perfect for spring because it's just, it's such a soft pink color. It's so cute and it is pretty spacious. Um, this one also comes with a strap. Which, I, I would keep this one on here only because it is long and I could wear it side, you know, a side purse, which I really love. And this one, I think, might be a pretty good purse. I'm not exactly sure, but it is really good quality. It's real leather, um, and it was made in Italy. So it is a really good purse, and, I mean, come on. I got it for $2.99. Oh, yeah. So, there's the purses. And now I want to start to show you guys some of the clothes that I actually picked up. Um, okay. Anywho, first one I'm going to show you is actually this little white blazer. I love blazers, and you guys know this, okay? But I had a white one. And it got thrown in the dryer and it shrunk. So I was really sad. But now I have this one. And that one was like, I can't remember what fabric that was. But it was like a kind of scratchy fabric. This one is polyester, ray, rayon, and yeah, whatever. Um, it's from Sag Harbor and it's their petite line. And it's a size 4 petite. Um, Goodwill marked it an extra large. And it was $7.99. But this blazer is seriously so cute, you guys. Like, oh my gosh, it looks so adorable when it's on. It does look a little bit big, but I mean, come on. It's marked as an extra large, obviously. But that's also another good thing about um, secondhand stores is that you don't always have to go for your size. Because there are times when you can go and you can get things that are bigger or even a little bit smaller and will still fit you amazingly if you know how to pair them up together. So, there's my cute little white blazer and um, this shirt was actually a brand new shirt never been worn and it was from Walmart for 10 bucks 
but I got it for $3 because it's $5.99 and orange tag was half off, so I got this shirt for $3. So come on, I just saved myself 7 bucks. Heck yeah. And I've always, I've been looking for a good, kind of like a white boyfriend shirt. I don't know what these are exactly called, um, but I call them boyfriend shirts. Um, and Forever 21 has them, but seriously, they're like... 16 to 20 dollars which is ridiculous because I think the one that I was gonna buy at Forever 21 was like 18 or 1980 or something like that I was like are you serious right now are you serious 20 bucks for a freaking white shirt no I don't think so so I think three dollars is definitely more in my price range and I love it so there's that the next item that I want to show you guys is this really cute pinstripe long sleeve shirt this one looks like it's brand new. It doesn't have a brand new tag on it, but check it out, you guys. H&M, right there. So it is a good quality shirt. Um, it was $5.99, so $6 for something that if you went to H&M, this would most likely be $20 and up. Let me just tell you guys right now. So I got $6 for this cute little pinstripe shirt, and it's just so adorable. Seriously, look at that. That's so cute. And like I'm saying, you guys, you can find good stuff sometimes. I remember one time I got a Lucky Brand necklace. I know that a lot of you guys have seen my Beatles necklace over there. Um, I got that for like 12 bucks, I think, at Savers. And it was originally marked like way more online. I think it was like 50 or $60 online because it was a Lucky Brand necklace. So don't get discouraged because they are um, secondhand stores, thrift stores. Don't get discouraged because sometimes you can find really good stuff. So come on. Come on. $6? Cute. The next two shirts are pretty much the same kind of shirt, just two different colors and two different styles. Um, I've been loving stripes. I've been seeing stripes a lot um, in magazines, and you know I've just, I've been loving them on Lookbook, everything like that. So I've I've been wanting them, and I was gonna buy a shirt that was almost exactly like this at Forever Twenty One, but it was blue and white, and it was like sixteen eighty, so seventeen dollars. For a shirt like this, a little bit different, less cute. I think this one's actually way cuter. And look at how much this one cost me. $4.99. And it's a large, or so they say. This is the Leslie Fay Petite Sportswear. The next one is a red one. And this one was $5.99. And this is from Alfred Duner, or Alfred Dunner, size 12, 100% polyester. Um, the difference between this one and that one is this one has little pockets right here on the shirt. It's a long sleeve and it has shoulder pads. That's the difference between the black one and the red one. And again, super cute. And six bucks. Love it. Um, I hope that this was a little bit helpful for you guys to see what you can get at a thrift store so that you guys don't think that it's only, you know, just stuff that people throw out. Sometimes it is good stuff, alright? So just keep that in mind. Um, like I said, I am going to be doing a spring fashion video for you guys so that you guys can see how I put this stuff together. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, I will talk to you later. Bye, YouTube.